All right, back for the third and final installment of my Shadow More Tournament Pack openings. This has been a lot of fun cracking open. Really happy that I get the opportunity to open some Shadow More. And uh, done pretty good with the pulls so far. Haven't pulled anything that I was like really wanting, but uh, definitely gotten some cool cards. All right, so here we go. Wanderbrine Root Cutters. Can't be blocked by green creatures. Cool. Sootwalker. Puncture Bolt Sink. Una's Gate Warden. One blue black hybrid. It is a 2 1 flying defender with Wither. That's interesting. Turn creature plus two plus two until end of turn and conspire. What is conspire? As you play this spell, you may tap two untapped creatures you control that share a color with it. When you do, copy it, and you may choose a new target for the copy. It's till end of turn, though. Fairy Macabre. Or Macabre. However you want to pronounce that. That was in Modern Masters, I think. Alright, hold on. This camera is making me mad. Alright, hopefully that's better. Helm of the Gas Lord. Cinder Bones. <laughs> Looks like a skinnier version of Brand from League of Legends. If any of you guys play that game. Spell Siphon. Turn creature becomes black, gains fear, draw a card. Ooh, a Golden Glow Moth. An 01 Flyer for one white. Whenever he blocks, you gain four life. Interesting. 1 1 Flash, Kithkin Soldier. The big old fat seven six giant, the lone dagger giant. All right, into our uncommons. So the first uncommon we have is a wicker wall crawler, war crawler. <laughs> uh, when he attacks or blocks, put a minus one minus one counter on it at end of combat. He's a six six for five colorless. Okay. Prison term. This is kind of cool. It's like a Better arrest, right? Um, enchanted creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be played. Whenever a creature comes into play under an opponent's control, you may attach Prison Term to that creature. So if they play a better creature or a more problematic one, and this thing's already on the battlefield, then you can uh, choose to retarget uh, the new creature with this. So that's pretty cool. I do like this card a lot. Uh, Repel Intruders. Put two one ones. Mm, counter up to one target creature spell, yada yada. Okay. Tattermunge Witch. I think we. Did we see this guy? Each blocked creature gets plus one, plus zero. Yeah, I think we saw that in the first one. Jaws of Stone. Divided. Deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and/or players where X is the number of mountains you control. Okay. Alright. Another land. We've gotten a land in each one. Comes into play tapped. Each opponent loses one life. Play this ability only if you control two or more black permanents. That kind of seems actually like a fun land in EDH. Hmm. Each opponent loses one life. I like that. Okay, moving on. Counter target blue instant spell. Alright, I like that. That seems pretty cool. Artwork seems really nice too. I don't know if you guys see that. It's like a fish or something. Uh... Basically getting sliced. Boom. Try again, blue mages. Oh, this guy's cool looking too. A uh, hollow sage. That is some sweet artwork there. Merfolk wizard. In the color of black. 
So, one black, three colorless. Uh, whenever he becomes untapped, you may have target player discard a card. Hmm, nice. I like that. And here we have a, what is that, Mist Meadow Skulk. Two mana for a 1-1 one, one lifelink. Protection from converted mana cost three or greater. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. I've never seen that before. Kithkins are so weird looking, though. Alright. Oh, nice! That's what I'm talking about, a curse catcher. Hell yes. Oh, man, I'm so happy now. I don't know why I wanted this guy. I just kind of did. wanted to pull him. So, one blue. He's a 1-1 one, one Merfolk Wizard. Sacrifice him, counter target instant or sorcery spell, unless its controller pays one. So, I have to look him up, but I think he's like six or seven bucks. Definitely a fantastic uncommon card to pull. Used in the Merfolk Legacy deck. Sweet. Alright, so now we're into our rares. We have Plague of Vermin. <clears throat> one black, six colorless sorcery. Starting with you, each player may pay any amount of life. Repeat this process until no one pays life. Each player puts a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token into play for each one life he or she paid this way. Cool. Next up is a Cauldron of Souls. Choose any number of target creatures. Each of those creatures gains persist until end of turn. So it's five colorless mana to play, and then you just tap it, and you can choose any number of target creatures, and they all gain persist. That seems kind of cool, too. I like that. And our last rare. Come on, be a good one. Ah, too bad. I was hoping for the Fulminator Mage there. Uh, when he comes into play, other creatures you control gain tap. This creature deals two damage to target creature or player until end of turn. And he has Persist himself. So two red, three colorless gets you a 3-3 three, three with all that. So I don't think we hit any money rares this time around. But, um... Definitely pulled a sweet uncommon. There's our pro player, representing Germany. And we'll go to the last card is the foil. So maybe we hit foil money. I don't know. Let's cross our fingers. Ready? It's a foil rare. Sweet. Polluted bonds. Whenever a land comes into play under an opponent's control, that player loses two life and you gain two life. <laughs> That's fantastic. I was actually thinking of making a uh, an Esper-colored um, EDH deck that centers around uh, life gain and life loss like combos and stuff with Sanguine Bond, Exquisite Blood. This card I think I had in non-foil, but this is, <laughs> this is pretty cool. So uh, uh, let me get an accurate count on the prices. I'll be right back. All right, so I just got done looking up the prices. So Plague of Vermin is $0.50. Cents. Fury Stroke Giant is $0.75. Cents. The Cauldron of Souls is 3 bucks. The Polluted Bonds Foil is $4. And the Curse Catcher is 7 bucks. So pretty happy with the way this uh, pack turned out. I uh, didn't get any of the really cool rare pulls that I was hoping for, but uh, definitely a lot of fun opening Shadow More. And I hope you guys enjoyed... Uh, the opening with me. So I will catch you all later. Thanks for watching.